Hey everyone, my name is Alex. I'm here with Timberleaf Trailers. Today as part of our maintenance series, we are going to be covering the greasing and lubrication of your timber and axle with suspension, as well as your Easy Lube trailer spindle hubs. All of our standard all-road and off-road trailers come with Easy Lube trailer spindles, and all of our all-road and off-road trailers come with Timberland's axle suspension, both of which are fitted with grease points to allow you to do your annual maintenance in your driveway or your garage at home without the need of any specialty tools. What you see here is all the tools and supplies that we're going to need to take this project on. Starting over here, I've got a breaker bar to help get the lug nuts off, a socket and an extension to fit the lug nuts. Today I'll be using an impact wrench. If you have one, feel free to use it. It is not a requirement though. If you do use one, I highly recommend that you wear adequate ear protection. Rubber gloves, newspaper, paper towels, or shop towels to clean up the mess, a torque wrench, grease gun, and some red grease. Now we use Lucas Oil's Red and Tacky number two. Uh, you don't have to use this, but you do want to make sure that whatever grease that you choose is compatible with this, or you flush out all the old grease. Now I know that this is compatible with the timber and bushings, as well as the grease that we use in our bearings. And so you should be good there. With that all covered, let's dive in. So to begin, if you're using a breaker bar to break the lug nuts free, go ahead and with the weight of the trailer on the ground, use your breaker bar and just loosen up all the lug nuts on your wheel. And once that's done, you can use your leveling jacks or a jack and jack stands to raise the trailer up and get the weight off the wheel. Now with the weight completely off the wheel, you can remove the wheel. Now that the lug nuts are off, you can pull the wheel off roll it off to the side. Now that your wheel is out of the way, you have full access to the hub and the grease fitting. If you have easy lube, you'll have this rubber cap in the middle of the silver uh, dust cap. All you have to do is remove that. Now with the dust cap removed, we can go ahead and connect our grease gun to the zerk right there and begin pumping grease in. Once you start to see clean red grease coming out, it's hard to see against my red glove or my black glove, but you can use a paper towel to kind of identify that it's clean. You can go ahead and clean off the excess grease, kind of wiping it out a little bit as you can. Once clean, you can go ahead and put the rubber cap back on. Once you've completed the first side, you can move on and do the same thing on the other side. I would expect you to use about a third to a half of a tube of grease on each side, so be prepared, it will take quite a while. Up next, we'll begin the grease procedure for the timber and axle with suspension. There's only one grease point per side, and that's located inside the small hole you see here. So to begin with, let's locate the grease point. tucked up inside, right there. Now before you crawl under here, I do recommend gathering a handful of paper towels and your grease gun. First step you want to do is you want to reach up with a paper towel and just clean off any dirt or debris that might be around the grease zerk. You can go ahead and connect your grease gun to that fitting and begin pumping in grease. As you're greasing, what you're looking for is a little bit of grease to be coming out of the bushing edges over here and over here. And now you can see a little bit of grease coming out on the outside and a little bit coming out on the inside too. 
Just give it a couple more pumps and then you should be good. Go ahead and disconnect your grease gun. Grab some paper towels or rags or towels, whatever you're using. And wipe off any of the excess grease that came out. Now that we've wrapped up the grease procedure, we can put the tires back on. Always remember to hand tighten the lugs as you start them so you don't cross thread or do any damage to the threads. Once started by hand, you can use your impact driver or your wrench to tighten them all the way. Once both wheels are reinstalled, you can lower the trailer back down under its own weight. And using your torque wrench in a crisscross pattern, go ahead and tighten your lug nuts to 90 foot pounds. And that concludes this maintenance tutorial. If you have any questions, give us a call, email us, or comment below. Thanks for tuning in, and see you next time.